What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Random, where we talk about controversial topics in anime, manga, and uh, gaming. And I am yes, Dante, and we are back with another video. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again, especially on a Sunday. If you're watching it on the Sunday, thank you. Your support keeps me going. So, ah, uh, man. Here we go again. And you know what? I normally say it's not all localizers that's to blame for the horrid localization we've been getting recently, right? But let me ask you guys an honest question, okay? Okay, hear me out, okay? Have you seen any other localizers calling out the misdeeds of their fellow co-workers? Hmm? <laughs> now, if they have done it in the past, that's great, that's dope, and that's cool, of course, whatever. But I personally haven't seen any situation where other localizers call out the misdeeds of their co-workers. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it'll help us out a lot because this right here is just unacceptable, okay? Um, the article said from San Kaku Complex, localizer brags about horribly westernized and inaccurate anime translations. Goes on to say, um, Western localizers have once again been caught doing questionable translations for anime as a certain familiar suspect has not only been inserting absurd Western phrases into their work, but has also been bragging about doing so and serving as the epitome of what is wrong with the uh, translation in the West to some. A helpful Twitter user shared a screenshot of the localizer's Twitter remarks describing their work for the new um, anime, something about a girl who falls in love with her dog. It's um, fan service and itchy. It, it's pretty pervy. My kind of show. I'm going to check it out um, in due time. But anyway, um, and the person we're going to talk about today is someone we've spoken about in the past. And another um, arrogant, egotistical, grade A douchebag that aims to use anime to push her personal narratives and also aims to ruin any anime that she probably does not like just because she can just because she can uh, this person needs to be fired um i don't know any other job where you can brag about not doing your job accurately and and bragging about it on the internet and still somehow miraculously keep your job am i let me know i mean it's insanity <laughs> it's insanity this person needs to be fired anyway enough ranting before i show you guys um these screenshots please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell i could definitely use your support in growing this channel and getting us up to 2,000 subscribers we talk about controversial topics and censorship in anime manga and gaming so drop a like if you enjoy the video and drop a comment to start a conversation that'd be great too and follow me on twitter because why not it's free and the link to that would be in the description box down below so let's check out these screenshots so this is the first one this is her katrina leona leonard dacus oh, i can't pronounce her name i don't care katrina right says i am unfortunately doing some of my finest localization work on the anime about the high school girl who is legit uh, attracted to a corgi as you can see uh they are already butchering <laughs> the dialogue says i'm sorry i yeeted you okay who i don't i don't <laughs> i've been watching anime a long time uh, I, I cannot see them using that word <laughs> i'm sorry any other time I'd love to be all up in your dress, in her dress. Nako Tani looks like she needs uh, needs eye bleach. And here I thought you'd have resting itch face for the rest of your life. Then she goes on to brag and says, I'm not sorry for what I did to Inukai. So not only is this person 
um, confessing to butchering the dialogue, but they're also bragging about it on their Twitter. And I'm sure there are people in her comments like, oh my hero, <laughs> oh my god, you're so great. You only don't care because it's an anime you don't like. If she did it to an anime you do like, I'm sure you'd have a different reaction to this. This is why it needs to stop for anime you do like and you don't like. You know what I'm saying? It just needs to stop, period. Let's um, proceed. Says Katrina, this one, this may, actually, I think we skipped something here. Let's go back down here. It says other deployable statements from the individual. All right, so we didn't skip anything. Just one, this may surprise you, but I love the material. And two, the translation is not for you. Translation, you are not the intended audience. But if, what? <laughs> because she's replying to this comment. It says, I'm honestly curious. So you're transforming the translation because you don't like the material given to you on an officially published project. Why not take on another project instead? Bruh. It's clear that you're not accurately translating it because you don't, you obviously don't like the anime. You don't. And it's, it's okay if you don't like it. It's fine. It is what it is. But it doesn't give you the right to butcher whatever it is that you don't like. You're tasked to do a job. Do it as accurate as possible. If you fail to do so, you should not be doing this job. And the fact that you still have a job, period, baffles me. The fact that Japan, I mean, maybe they don't see it. There's a very high chance they don't see it. But if they do, like, bro... This person needs to be gone <laughs> immediately. But what do you guys think about this? Let's continue. Uh, says Twitter is unaliving. No one will see how badly I want to be the translator for this hilarious train wreck of an edgy next season. LOL, what's wrong with these people? I wish I knew, bruv. I wish I knew. He says, from my life as Inukai's Inukai sans dog. I managed to get outside, but she had me on a leash, so I couldn't do anything. He's talking about how we couldn't go back home. And this is what they changed it to. Sure, I had to pee outside, but what else is was I going to do? She had me on a leash. So, the person accurately translated it for us, I suppose, and also tagged High Dive and Sentai Filmer, which we all should be doing, by the way. Um, If you see something that this bad... Bro, just tag them. I mean, will they see it? I hope to God that they do. But tag them. This is unacceptable. Let's see. There's more. This one says, How is Inukai's sans friends with the Gyaru Bimbo? What it says, I never put the Inukai sans to be friends with the Gyaru. Calling her Bimbo is completely uncalled for. So they added the Bimbo part. <laughs> yeah. And if she claims to love her job and she claims to be, uh, bruh, unacceptable. Uh, I have another one here, but I think you guys get the point. This person does not like her job and is bragging about horribly translating these lines. By the way, if it's on Crunchyroll, right, you are paying for this. Think about it. You are paying for this. <laughs> I don't think she understands. We are paying her for a service, and then when we get this service, you're not doing your job. We're paying for this. It, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's just this person just infuriates the crap out of me. Uh, this one says she's not the type of person I'd normally hang out with. Um, again, Neela's subtlety when she it just means they'd never get the chance to interact. So. Non-stop proof of this person butchering the dialogue in the uh, anime. Uh, this continues to say, the look as in question, it's the same individual that has translated other stuff. And we talked about this one in particular. I think it was about a story where it was a guy who I think cross-dresses or something like that. He still is a guy, but dresses up as a girl. But what this person did was a turn the girl into a tra uh, turn the guy, sorry, into a trans girl, and that one ended ended up being fixed down the line after numerous complaints from readers and stuff like that. But yeah, this is who we have to deal with, guys. This is who we have to deal with in um, anime and manga. People like this feel untouchable. Maybe because they are part of a certain community or God knows. I don't know. But until people like her start getting fired, 
This will never stop. Companies need to start diving into the social media accounts of their employees. Because guess what? It's not unfair. Other jobs do the exact same thing as well. It's nothing new. There's nothing unique. Okay? I'm sure this person has crazy amounts of complaints against her. The fact that she, this person, whatever, still has a job, still work for a company that's still it's still employed in general infuriates me bro <laughs> this is uh what do you guys think about this let me know your thoughts in the comments section um uh like i said we, we gotta start tagging them like this guy did tagging into anti filmworks tagging high dive uh sorry it may not be on crunch roll actually it might be on high dive so my bad um i don't know i, I know it's on one of those um streaming services but either way the point is, um, it's unacceptable. It needs to stop. You see more stuff like this. Don't hesitate to tag them. Maybe if we tag them enough and they get tired of being tagged in nonstop nonsense, maybe in due time things will change. But I'm just saying, either way, either, whether it be on Crunchyroll or High Dive or whatever, the fact that remains is that we're paying for this. It needs to stop. What do you guys thoughts about this? Let me thoughts in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe for more content like this to nerd and geek culture, anime, manga, and gaming. We also talk a lot about censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. If that's what you like, please make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.